Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So today we are going to be planting some Super Tunia Vista uh, Petunias. <laughs> it's their version of the Petunia. They have several different colors. You can see down in my window box, one of my bubble gum, which is their signature pink Petunias coming back from last year. In my zone 8B, they often are hardy perennials, meaning they're not necessarily supposed to come back. They are classified as annuals, but in our zone, in our climate, they often do come back. I would say I planted maybe two flats last year and everything here down that's more protected by the house and in my window boxes all came back. All the way around my bird bath, I have five, they all came back. You can see all the green and the window boxes, they all came back. Um, so I went ahead and I just purchased half a flat this year, split it with my mom to go throughout this part of the garden behind y'all um, because they're amazing. They get full blooms, you don't have to deadhead them, and they, they're supposed to get 12 to 24 feet wide, or inches wide, 24 feet wide would be ridiculous. Um, but they get almost two, three times that if they're really happy and they come back. So, you know, if I had realized it was our hard freeze last year that got the things over here where I don't have as much planted, um, we had a hard freeze for three nights. And if I thought about it, I could have easily come out and covered them, but I didn't. So since most of my bubble gum came back, we're not planting any today. Instead, we're going to be planting two of the Super Tunia Vista uh, Fuchsia and two of the Super Tunia Vista uh, Snowdrop. Is that, yeah, Snowdrift, which is the white. So I planted two white and two Fuchsia, which is their hot pink, as opposed to their baby pink. I planted whites in here last year and Fuchsia down by the shed but so late in the season, they didn't get established. So we're gonna try doing it super early in the year this year, early spring, and I cannot wait to see them trailing out of these containers because even they were only in here for about a month last year, they were so pretty. Um, and then I will give you updates all throughout the summer. But you wanna skip ahead because <laughs> this part we did last year. We're doing the exact same thing. I loved it so much, I want it all summer. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the mums and plant the white snowdrifts here and the fuchsia for a big bright pop of color down in front of the shed. But if you want to see the new 2023 Super Tunia Vista Mini, the yellow, um, stick around, I'll put a timestamp up, but we're going to head over to my mom's house. She bought four of them and is planting up the containers on her front steps. They are so pretty. They're like a beautiful butter yellow and they are the little blooms as opposed to the big blooms. So we want to see, she planted bubble gum in those front containers last year, one plant per container and they were massive. So we want to see how the, uh, the new mini Vista yellows hold up to the, the bubble gum. We're going to start by taking out these mums. And I'm going to plant them out in my landscape because moms typically will come back in my, in my zone, in my garden. So no reason to get rid of them. There's, they're coming back. The ones I really want to come back, my pink ones in front of my porch are struggling. But of course the white ones always come back. little bit. See all those doggies? She's thinking about going to meet them. She doesn't need to. Thank you. 
my goodness, look at the roots on this guy. No wonder he's happy. He grew all the way down. Get as much soil off as we can. I don't even know if he's going to fit in my pink pot. Kind of. covered in ants. I don't know why. Maybe that's why he's struggling a little more. Ants trying to build an ant house in my pot. There's hundreds of them. No thanks. All right, I've got both of the white snowdrift Super Tunia Vista Petunias planted, even the one in the ant pot. So I, uh, you saw I, I sprinkled in some ant killer. I've got some granules that I sprinkle in that's safe for food, vegetables, pets, all that kind of stuff. The ants will take it, bring it back to their nest and it destroys the whole nest. I am super susceptible to ant bites, so I keep it on hand. But uh, I put some of that in before I filled in in new potting mix and then sprayed everything off really good. So hopefully that will take care of it. And if not, you know, I don't mind ants being in the garden. I just don't want them where I'm putting my hands. Let's go ahead and pop over the shed where we can plant the fuchsias.
All right, the fuchsia petunias are in. Obviously the shed is still a work in progress, but finally got all of the raised beds in. So putting down pea gravel or compost or something on top of all the cardboard to kill the weeds, but you don't eat my plants is the next step. So excited. So I'm going to go get cleaned up and uh, let's pop over to mom's to plant her Super Tunia Mini Vista Yellows. I'm really excited about these. Okay, so we are at mom's house now and she has two pots. Well, she has lots of pots out right now, but most of these are indoor plants that she brought out for the rain. Yeah. <laughs> these two concrete planters are her permanent porch pots. Yeah. And last year she filled them with Supertunia Vista bubblegum, yep. which is coming back in several places in the beds. Let me show you over here. Look at this. Look at these massive plants that are coming back. These had died all the way back to the ground and they are, I mean, after the rain, but they are literally already blooming and they look fabulous. But this year she was thinking about doing more of the super tunia bubble gum, which is what a lot of what I'm doing. But when we went to the nursery, she found these and this is one of the new colors for 2023 and is the mini Vista yellow. Now, when it comes to super tunias, like I said at the beginning of the video, Vista is the name you want for all the blooms. All of the super tunias are pretty, but the Vistas get the biggest, the fullest, they grow, and in our zone, and the they thing, often come back. And they don't need to be deadheaded. Yes, which and is mom's favorite thing. My favorite thing. Mom does not like petunias that need to be deadheaded. Yeah, and to be fair, I don't think I would either. <laughs> so we've never tried the mini Vista. Um, if you have, leave a comment down below. But we, mom planted one single pink bubble gum in each of these containers last year. And they were glorious until we had our horrible heat wave that took them out. Yeah. Everything we planted after the heat wave came back. Everything we planted before the heat wave got oh heated up. So this year she is going to go for broke and plant two plants in each of these planters, which may be, it might be too much, it might be it too might much, but since they are the little blooms, she wanted a lot of bang for her buck. And that's still only two plants. You know, a lot of times when you plant a planter, you overfill it because they're not going to necessarily grow their full size but these if you plant them in the landscape the tags say they are going to get six to twelve inches high you want to space them 12 inches out they are very short plants but they kind of a mound i mean i showed you the bubble gums so there you go she and just put some fertilizer in there and then you can see she has a drip ring and an extra emitter that because goes to the middle high. and they struggled so much. And it and is, is direct. these are direct sun. They really don't ever get any shade in these pots so that they have a little extra water. Hopefully they'll do well. Um, super tunias. Yes. Like all annuals, you want a slow release fertilizer at the beginning. Um, but you are going to want to, fertilize them with a almost weekly water soluble fertilizer um, for the best performance. If you don't do that, they will still bloom. They just, they just won't bloom as much. So since these didn't have a lot of plants in them last season, they just had one plant and they pooped out after that heat wave. I'm not going to re no, put I'd any soil in them top it off. with some compost and I that'll be great. Yeah. But if, if we had filled these with plants and they had been heavily planted last year, we would put new potting soil in them. So we will give you an update 
in the summer garden tour on how these look. I'm very excited to see how they do. I really like the mini Vesta. I like the smaller blooms. Yeah, I almost, I know, mom likes the big bloom. I almost got the small white blooms, but mom convinced me to get the, the big ones. They're just so pretty. And since mine are going in pots that are further away from my house, I figured they'd be better. So, they're very pretty, like, butter yellow blooms. Yep. They're not quite as bright as the, uh, yeah, they are. the cards. So, it'll be interesting to see if they brighten up. And the sun or with fertilizer or if this is the true color of the blooms. I would imagine it is because they're blooming. Typically, that's the color they are. All right. So that is it. I hope you guys liked this video. I will link down below to where <laughs> I planted my window boxes with the bubble gum last year. Um, but that is three super tunia vistas the minis and the big ones i did of course the white uh snow drift is it yeah and the fuchsia at my house mom's done the yellow and we have bubble gum everywhere yeah, i mean we do we love bubble i have gum. bubble gum in my pots i mean in my yard and i have more to plant yeah mom bought we bought a flat to split this year so yeah. most of moms have come back and i would say half of mine have come back yeah i just have but better soil i think yeah. Well, everything that was protected at my house came back, but everything in the full sun got destroyed between the heat wave and the freeze. We had a lot of extreme weather last year. So yeah, we did. either way, we will see y'all in the next video. Yep. Bye.